Okay, boys and girls, you've been learning a lot about how to make a good inference. You know that you need to take the um, clues from the text or the picture and also what you already know from using your background knowledge and come up with a good inference. So now you're going to get to practice. So please find your um, inferring card practice paper in your bundle packet and take that paper out. And we're going to go through three different sets of um, picture cards and little word cards. I'm going to show you these cards and I want you to make your very best um, guess on what you think is happening in the picture. Remember, use your clues and what you know to make your decision. I'm going to read this to you now and I want you to record your answer on the sheet. Good luck! For number one, we're going to make our best inference now by using the clues from the picture and your background knowledge or schema and tell me what you think is happening in this picture. You can press pause to be able to have time to record on your paper before we go on to the next one. I bet you know what these two kids are doing. Make an inference and tell me what it is. For number three, take a look at this picture and tell me where do you think they are. Oh no, make an inference and tell me what you think happened in this picture. Now I'm going to read you some little short stories. Follow along and answer the question at the end. This is number five. Tom rode in a big red truck every day. He and the other workers helped people by using big hoses and ladders. What is Tom's job? Make an inference and write it on your paper. Number six, Sally and her mom went to the store and bought a lot of soil, seeds, and a watering can. What are Aunt Sally and her mom going to do? Number seven, Jackie's class was going on a field trip. She was excited about seeing the monkeys and elephants. Make an inference and tell me where are they going? And number eight, Sam was watching TV when he heard thunder, and then he heard something hitting his window. What was happening? Make your best inference. Way to go! You're an inferring rock star. Now we're going to go on to set number two. Now they might be a little bit more difficult, but click on the next video and find out.